What up guys, so I'm gonna show you Ragnarok Odyssey. We're just gonna do one quest, which is gonna be a boss battle. I wanna show you guys how good I am <laughs> being up myself. Um, no, I'm just gonna show you how the gameplay is. Um, just little bits and pieces. So we're going to the quest area, divided up into chapters, which is interesting. So chapter 6, we're doing this quest, or I'm doing this, this quest at the moment. As a soloer, it, it's pretty fucking hard. I gotta, um, I have to actually hold off a giant character, which I will kill later on, before they actually shoot him in the head, or something like that, with their giant cannon. But the quest we're doing right now is the Orc King battle, which is the first boss of this whole game. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, it's a good way to earn money. Um, but let's get onto this. You see the map area, the landscape of Ragnarok Odyssey. And this game is the Asian uh, Asia localized version, which was released quite recently in September. As you can see, I'm playing a cleric. And we're going to do a quick run through of the configuration. We've got the left analog stick to move around. You can use the D-pad to change the camera angle. You can also do that with the right analog stick. You press L to target. R is pretty much nothing until you combine it with triangle, which is a block. X is for jumping, square, step, dodging. Quite useful if you can't block like the other characters. The sword character and cleric are the only classes that can actually block. Circle is a two function thing. Um, if you just tap it, is a pretty much attack that can knock back enemies if you're in a tight spot. Um, if you hold it down, it gives you the unique character ability, which of course my cleric can heal others if they step into this blue field. You've got the three buttons that you can touch with the touch screen. Um, it depends on which potions you actually equip. Um, at the moment I've just got some health um, and some red potions that can fill up my, my special super mode thing that increases my attack. Um, at the top, the green is for HP and yellow is for the AP meter, which is your stamina. Okay, so we press R, or L, and you can target your character. And we're gonna kick his ass for now. As you can see that each time you attack, it shows the amount of attack that you can do for each strike. And each time you attack um, a certain area of a boss, um, a piece of armor does break off and you can do more damage. As you can see, the step is quite useful for things like that. Um, if you can't, you know, if you can't shield yourself in time, you can actually just dodge. And as you can see, my red meter has just filled up, and we're going to super mode, and we just kick this ass within three moves. How awesome is my cleric? <laughs> so you get a little cinematic of him dying. Um, you get a little pose right here. The, 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 all the speeches and voices are in Japanese, the dialogue is all in English, which is awesome. Which it's, it's pretty much why a lot of people did pre-order this, um, instead of just waiting for it to get localized. You can find item boxes around. Run around, waiting, and right here is your results. Basically tells you how much time it took to defeat, um, how many kits you've done in one combo, um, once it's killed, um, amount of money that it actually gets, and right here, which is the second result screen, you can see what items you actually did pick up from the monster. So yes, we're gonna we're gonna save right here. Yep, 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 yep. The graphics are amazing for this. It's probably one of the best looking games since 
I'd say Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush is probably my second favorite game at the moment. Um, this guy comes with a close third, um, even though it's a re-release of the PS3 version, just minor differences. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see any other classes, I'll be happy to do that. You've got six classes in total. You've got Sword Warrior, Hammersmith, Assassin, Mage, Cleric, and Hunter. And people are wondering, what the fuck is a Hammersmith? Hammersmith is pretty much your tank character. It can deal a crap load of damage in one strike, but the defense is, you know, kind of ma ma. It, it, it's, it's quite so so. It's, it's not that great. <laughs> so, if you guys enjoyed that, just tell me in the comments below. I'll be happy to do a different video for you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!